New Zealand Physical Features Climate Wildlife Vegetation Natural Resources and People New Zealand lies far down in the South Pacific Ocean halfway between the equator and the South Pole its nearest neighbor Australia is about 1500 kilometers away it is one of the last places on earth to be inhabited by people New Zealand was sighted by the Dutch explorer Abel Jansoon Tasman in 1642 and was named after an area in Netherlands as New Zealand. The local inhabitants, Maoris, attack some men sent ashore by Tasman and even kill some. In 1769, Captain James Cook of the British Navy landed on North Island, befriended the Maoris and explored the region. New Zealand, an island country, is made up of two main islands, the North Island and the South Island, and a number of smaller islands. The term Australasia is often used for Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, and several nearby islands. The term Oceania is used for Australasia, Melanesia, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, Fiji Islands and others, Micronesia, 600 islands including Marshall Islands, Kiribati Group of Islands and Polynesia, New Zealand and many other smaller islands in Pacific. New Zealand is located between latitudes 34 degrees south and 47 degrees south and between longitudes 166 degrees east and 178 degrees east. Its two main islands are separated by the Cook Strait. It is separated from Australia by the Tasman Sea and it lies along the rim of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Both the North and the South Islands are long and narrow and lie in a general northeast and southeast direction. The main backbone of the islands is made of a mountain range which is higher in the south than in the north. The North Island is made up of a volcanic plateau and is prone to earthquakes. It has geysers, hot springs and mud holes and Lake Taupo is a large lake found here. The South Island is formed by a mountain range known as the Southern Alps which are closer to the west coast where they leave a narrow coastal plain. On the east there is a wider coastal plain called the Canterbury Plains. Mount Cook 3765 meters is its highest peak. The coastline of New Zealand is regular but at the same time, there are inlets and bays that provide good sites for harbors. In extreme southwest, there are steep-sided valleys and fjords, which are the result of erosion caused by glaciers. There are four factors that influence the climate of New Zealand. One, due to its location, it experiences temperate climate and has summers in December and winters in June. North Island is warmer than the South Island. 2. Nearness to the sea and the surrounding oceans make the climate moderate. 3. Lying the westerly wind belt almost throughout the year gives plenty of rainfall. South Island receives more rainfall than the North Island. 4. Due to the direction of the mountains, the west coast lies on the windward side and gets more rain than the eastern coastal plain, which happens to be on the leeward side. 
North Island lies in the transition zone of the trade winds and the westerlies and it has a Mediterranean type of climate. But being an island, it receives rain throughout the year. The South Island has British type of climate. The winters are not very cold and there is rainfall throughout the year. The natural vegetation consists mainly of evergreen forests along with palms and ferns. Volcanic eruptions in prehistoric times destroyed large areas of forest in the central plateau of North Island. As a result, small shrubs such as Manuka cover much of the region. Kauri trees are massive conifers with tall white trunk and broad spreading crown that grow here and they can live for 2000 years or more. Beech forests are found on the cooler slopes of the mountains. Most of New Zealand's land animals have been introduced from other parts of the world. Deer and rabbits were brought by the European settlers and the wallabies were brought from Australia. New Zealand has no snakes. The Chuatara, a native prehistoric reptile, still lives here. Besides its two eyes, it has a third sightless eye in the middle of the forehead. The country has many native birds. The flightless kiwi is the best known bird. It is the only known bird with nostrils at the tip of its beak. Other birds include the tui and the bellbird, both of which have lovely melodious voices. New Zealand has few minerals. The most important include coal, gold, iron ore, limestone and natural gas. Coal is mined in the mountainous westland in the South Island. Limestone is quarried in many parts. Crushed limestone is important for the country's agriculture and is used in the manufacture of certain fertilizers that help to reduce the acidity of the soil. Iron ore is mined on the North Island and is used in developing the iron and steel industry. Natural gas is found on the North Island. Water in many rivers that drain the mountain ranges and lakes is the most important natural resource of the country. Although most are unsuitable for navigation due to turbulence or short distance, they are used to provide hydroelectricity. Water power provides 90% of the nation's electricity. Also in North Island, the geothermal or Earth's internal energy is used to produce electricity. Forests, one of New Zealand's important natural resources, cover 25% of the land. At first, much of the forests were destroyed to clear land for agriculture. Today, thriving forests of trees have been brought from other countries under the government restoration program. The California pine, the Japanese cedar and the Australian eucalyptus are important sources of timber. Wood pulp is an important forest product. Agricultural activities produce wheat, barley, corn, peas and potatoes and fruits like strawberries, peaches, oranges and tamarillo. New Zealand exports apples and pears to other countries. The kiwi fruit or the Chinese gooseberry introduced to the country in 1900 has a fuzzy greenish brown skin like feathers of the kiwi bird. It is the world's leading producer and exporter of the kiwi fruit. With large number of sheep and cattle, animal rearing becomes an important occupation. 
It's Ranch's race Merino sheep for wool. New Zealand is second only to Australia in the amount of wool it exports. Sheep and cattle are also reared for meat. Dairy farming is a very important occupation in New Zealand. Most of these farms are located on the North Island. The temperate and moist climate is suitable for raising dairy cattle. It is one of the major exporters of butter, cheese and skimmed milk powder. Because of lack of minerals, New Zealand is less industrialized than Australia. But in recent years, its industries have been growing. Agro-based industries are important and processed foods are most valuable manufactured goods. Milk is made into butter, cheese and dried milk. Factories freeze lamb and beef for export and process wool and weave woolen products. New Zealand's chief trade partners are Australia, Great Britain, Japan and the United States. It exports butter, cheese, dried milk products, meat and wool. Its imports include iron and steel, machinery, cars, petroleum and scientific instruments. International trade plays an important role in the country's economy. New Zealand has an excellent highway system. The railways that link the main cities are operated by the government. Ferries carry passengers, automobiles and railway cars between North and South Islands. Auckland and Wellington with fine harbours are the busiest ports. It is also connected to other important cities of the world by air. A wealthy and progressive country, New Zealand was first in the world to give women the right to vote. Its people include the Maoris and Europeans. Maoris the first people to live in New Zealand probably came here by boats from some of the Pacific Islands. Today, they comprise about 9% of the population. In the 1660s, Europeans began to sail here and today, they comprise 86% of the population. Today, both these groups live in harmony and are incorporated in the society with equal rights. From 1840 to 1907, New Zealand was a British colony. Auckland, the largest city of New Zealand, is an industrial city. Wellington is the capital city and has a good harbour. Government activities occur around the Beehive Parliament building. Christchurch is the largest city of South Island. Australia, a land of such diversity and innumerable natural wonders, is a vast land, the moods and features of which change as you explore it. New Zealand, not too far behind, with the naturally beautiful mountainous archipelago, is known in the world for its unique biodiversity.